God has been directing you. You just didn't pay attention. Proverbs 3 verse 5 to 6 Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, and lean not unto thine own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy paths. In some instances we complain that God is silent over our lives. We feel as if God doesn't care about us, and that is why he is not saying anything concerning our situation. And some of us even go as far as blaming him for the mistakes we made in the past because we feel as if, if God had directed us, we wouldn't have made such mistakes. We read the Bible and see where it says God will direct our paths. But when we look at our lives, it doesn't look like a life that has been directed by the Lord. The truth is that God has been directing you, but you did not notice. You may be thinking, how has God directed me? And I didn't notice. If you look back through your life, if you look closely at the paths you have taken, in some instances you may not have had any option except to take the hard road. This may have left you frustrated at the time, but did you know that this sometimes happens when God is directing your path? We human beings love to go for the easiest things or the easiest ways. It is in our nature and we equate easy as being God's direction. But the truth is sometimes God doesn't direct us the easy way. And you need to come to that understanding that God does not always direct people the easy way. Look at Joseph and the hell on earth he suffered to become the second most powerful man in the world. God could have just made it so that he goes from his father's house to the palace. But look at what God did. Joseph came from a very wealthy family. He was hated by his brothers. He was sold for 20 pieces of silver into slavery by his own brothers. Whilst as a slave, he was falsely accused and was thrown into prison. His prison ministry lasted about three and a half years. And then Joseph was made the second most powerful man in the world after being hated by his family, after being a slave, after being falsely imprisoned. Then, and only then, was he made the second most powerful man. My point is simple. Sometimes the easy path is not God's path. But in all Joseph went through, he was faithful to the Lord. He feared God. So I ask you today, above all, are you listening to God? Do you listen to God? In every situation you find yourself, do you care to hear God from it? Maybe you got rejected at a palace you would love to work. It might be God telling you, that is not the palace for you. Maybe you lost something you have been holding on to dearly and you are under the impression it was your mistakes that made you lose it. No, it might be God directing you, telling you to stop holding on to something that is limiting you. Are you facing rejection in your life? Are you feeling as if God has forgotten you? God never forgets his children. God cannot forget you. Trust in him, even when it doesn't make sense. Trust Him even when the road is hard. Trust Him even when the pain is unbearable. Trust in Him and He will direct you and He will order your steps. This is one thing I want you to hold on to. Sometimes rejection is God's protection. Sometimes rejection is God's direction. Sometimes rejection is God's elevation. Sometimes rejection is God's promotion for you. God has been directing you but you just didn't pay attention. God has been protecting you, but you just didn't see it. The easy way is not always. The best way is always God's way. You are not being rejected, my friend. You are being directed. Some people have been fired from their job, but they still become millionaires. Some people discovered their talents after they were rejected at a workplace or fired. You may think that these bad things are happening to you because God doesn't care but God is just using these things to direct you. Some of us love to try to direct our steps. It is in our human nature to want to take control of everything, including our own lives and paths. Deuteronomy 10, 23 to 24. O Lord, I know that the way of man is not in himself. It is not in man that walketh to direct his steps. O Lord, correct me but with judgment, not in thine anger, lest thou bring me to nothing. Are you directing your life yourself? Have you neglected the direction of the Lord? 
who has been directing you. Where are you in your life? We love the part of the Bible that says we should lean on God, but we are finding it hard to lean on Him because we feel we know the best for ourselves and God doesn't. The Bible says in Proverbs 3 verse 5 to 6, Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, and lean not unto thine own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy paths. If we desire to see God do some amazing things in our life, then we must learn to put our trust in him. If we desire to see God direct our paths, then we must learn to put our trust in him. If we desire to see God direct our paths, then we must learn to acknowledge that God knows better than us. We should not repose confidence in ourselves or our talents, but we should rather trust in him that created all things. John 15 verse 4 to 5, Abide in me and I in you. As the branch cannot bear fruit of itself, unless it abides in the vine, neither can you, unless you abide in me. I am the vine, you are the branches. He who abides in me and I in him bears much fruit, for without me you can do nothing. The remarkable thing about this is when you understand this, when you understand that you cannot do anything without God, you don't turn to a pastor, you don't turn to religion, you don't turn to a doctor, you don't turn to a psychologist, you turn to Jesus. He is the answer to your question. He is the solution to your problem. He is the shelter in your storm. He is the friend that sticks closer than a brother. He is the breath to your lungs. He is the one you need to direct your path. The Bible made it clear that the ways of man are not in himself. No matter how smart a person is, he or she cannot lead themselves. They cannot direct themselves because they are flawed. Mankind cannot direct their paths, even if they try to. You cannot direct your path. There are things you don't know. You cannot control some situations when they come. You have to trust God to direct you. And one of the many ways God directs us is through His Word. The Bible has instructions on every situation you will face in life. The Bible will never lead you astray. The Bible is the reference point. It is the anchor to your soul. It is your GPS. It is your satellite navigation. Psalms 119 verse 105. Your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. The Bible gives us much more than the ability to evaluate the spiritual significance of circumstances. It is the primary source for divine guidance in our life. The Spirit who inspired the biblical writers also works in our hearts to help us understand what God wants to say to us through the Bible. One of the chief functions of Scripture is to reveal God's will for our lives. Trust in the Lord all the time. Trusting God shouldn't be something you do occasionally. It is not something you do when things have gone wrong for you. Trust God every day. When you sleep, trust God. When you wake up, trust God. Trust God in every situation. When God tells you to do something, do not argue. You don't know anything in comparison to God. God knows it all. The Word of God assures us of God directing us here are 10 Bible verses that I pray will live in your heart and spirit that you may rest and know that God will direct you. Psalm 25 verse 9, He guides the humble in what is right and teaches them His way. Psalm 52 verse 8, But I am like an olive tree, flourishing in the house of God. I trust in God's unfailing love forever and ever. Luke 1 verse 37, For nothing will be impossible with God. There is nothing too hard for God. Isaiah 58 verse 11, the Lord will guide you always. He will satisfy your needs in a sun-scorched land and will strengthen your frame. You will be like a well-watered garden, like a spring whose waters never fail. Amen. Isaiah 58 verse 11. The Lord will guide you continually, giving you water when you are dry and restoring your strength. You will be like a well-watered garden, like an ever-flowing spring. Psalm 119 verse 105. Your word is a lamp to guide my feet and a light for my path. Psalm 23 verse 3. He refreshes my soul. He guides me along the right paths for his name's sake. Psalm 23 verse 4. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. 
Psalm 31 verse 3, For you are my rock and my fortress, and for your name's sake you lead me and guide me. Proverbs 3 verse 5 to 6, Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Do not depend on your own understanding. Seek his will in all you do, and he will show you which path to take.